Hey everyone, it is Jay Soloff. This is our options trade of the week. Uh, as a reminder, this is not a trade from one of my services, not a trade recommendation. This is a trade that I'm showing for educational purposes. So I am at marketchameleon.com. We are here at the unusual options volume page, which I have sorted by volume. And you can see where some of the unusual action is or just some of the very heavy action. You can see the percentage between calls and puts, the total volume compared to the average volume. That gives you this relative volume column here. Uh, so a lot of useful information. Uh, sometimes I'll look for a lot of calls, a lot of puts. Sometimes I just look for a lot of the unusual activity. Uh, so generally speaking, though, you know, you'll you'll see some stuff that'll be on here quite a bit for a period of time, and then it might not be for a while. Sometimes on major market days where there's just a lot of straight index action, you'll see more of the index ETFs and stuff up here. So uh, this is kind of a mix today, Palantir up top. Um, what I'm looking at here is HYG, which is uh, a super popular ETF and also trades a ton of options, generally speaking. As you can see, 220,000 is the average volume, which is quite a bit. This is the high yield corporate bond ETF. It's what a lot of people use for their sort of their junk bond allocation. Now, what's in interesting here is that 97% is puts. Now that can mean a lot of things. It can mean people are hedging. It can mean there's some speculative downside trades. So this is generally then when you want to click on it and kind of see where the action is. So that's what I did here. And I sorted the trades by quantity and you can immediately see there's a bunch of kind of massive block trades and they're all put. So that's definitely skewing the numbers. Now, if you delve into it, it looks like rolling out like People have put spreads on here, just these small put spreads, $2 wide, and they're rolling from October to November. Uh, here's another one. It looks like it's rolling October to November. So these are just rollout trades. Uh, these, This is a wider. This is a $5 wide one. Uh, this one here looks to be a $2 or $3 wide. So these could be hedges. Uh, HYG is a very good proxy for the junk yield, for the junk bond market, the high yield market. So uh, these could simply be people hedging who have a lot of exposure to high yield bonds. Um, now, what's interesting, this one is, is very interesting and who knows kind of what's going on here, but it's January of 22 and it's the 60 40 put spread. It looks like it was bought for seven cents. So what's going on here? Does someone expect the junk market? to collapse probably not maybe this is just some weird way of of covering some some risk to the downside that is satisfying some kind of uh you know some sort of regulatory or or risk managers desire to cover downside i, I guess it could be you know maybe they expect if there's a big sell-off in in uh, in the market, that HYG maybe it drops to 80 or something, and this goes from seven cents to 14 cents, but or whatever. It's just kind of interesting to see this done 50,000 times. Now that's only 350 thousand dollars, which is not a lot for an institutional type trade, but it just kind of interesting to see. And to put that into perspective, this is three years of HYG. You know, it's really not got below 80 except for the. Uh, COVID crash here and that was um, it did touch 70 very briefly and pop back up so yeah if the market crashes you could cash out of that 60 40 spread for a profit uh, but you know it's it's the fact it's highly unlikely to get to 60 at all so that's probably something else but interesting to see most of the other stuff is probably hedging although you know maybe there is some downside in HYG, if the market does sell off, you know, maybe it goes from 87 to lower. I mean, it does get down below 85, uh, sometimes gets as low as 80, but that that's not normal. They, even for junk bonds, which are riskier than, than investment grade bonds, they still don't move all that much when you group them together into a big fund like HYG, but just pretty interesting to see. And, uh, you know, you can see those trades if you're interested in, doing some kind of put trade or some kind of hedge or some kind of speculative bet. It doesn't cost a lot to go out and do, you know, let's say a November trade in HYG. Uh, the at the money puts are only, you know, 85 cents. So 
not an ex because it doesn't move that much it's not super expensive so just an interesting thing to see now if you're interested in straight up put and call buying i have a service that does that option floor trader pro should be a link on this page so check that out if that's something that interests you other than that i will be back next week for another trade of the week